All right, what's up, guys, and welcome back, of course, to another NU ladder. And yeah, quick run about this team. It's actually also is a concept here that I have yet to test. Uh, quick rundown: it is a trick room team, of course. Uh, so call it NU trick room team. Uh, it has Hariyama over Machamp. I do believe Machamp is overall the better between the two, but I do want to test Hariyama out. So Hariyama together with Incineroar. Uh, then is followed by Slow King, Aromatis, Rhydon, and Behem. We have three Trick Room Setter, usually you want to sell for four, but NU is kind of scarce on Viable One, and it's either I want to bring Slow King or Slow Bro. I do believe Slow King is the more interesting one between them, but that's, of course, as always, kind of suggestive and uh, just speculation at best. So, as I said, I haven't tried out these teams, it might backfire on me, and if it does, I still get to have a fun time. As we see trap team, this is this is not what you want to see when you start off these kind of sessions. Um, I do believe uh, I think Aroma Tease is overall my best start off team with. As it's gonna trap me with Diglett, that's quite all right. Um, let's see, you're gonna see Stealth Rocks, and that's as stated, quite all right. As I can just go for a call mine here. Uh, so we're gonna see Memento, I'm sure. There we go. So that works. I was quite for quite honestly, that was his series of plays, if anything. Um, here's the thing, though. I'm gonna bring Hariyama here. Um, so we're gonna get our Toxic Orb. We see Poison Jab, and it does a hefty chunk, actually. That's Life Orb. As um, he has to make a call here. Um, I'm gonna go directly for close combat. The only thing that's resistant to that is Saita. And I have two Trick Room turns in mind. So there comes the Scyther. We still do a decent chunk there. Um, could I Quick Attack? Um, I'll go for Ice Punch anyway. Uh, just to get the damage off, really. Um, that sure as hell stung him. Uh, I realize one thing I need to consider, and that is right on getting Stealth Rocks. I, I see that already. I have Filler Move in Ice Punch. That might not be necessary. Uh, stealth Rocks is clearly what we want. Kind of forgetting how extremely viable. Um, uh, let's see, there we go. Oh, he took it out! Wow, alright. That works. That works indeed. Uh, okay, I did not see that one coming at all. Uh, we are slower than everything in his team, which means that we're gonna do a sack play here. Here, that Drapion is probably his best overall response, as he can pursue trap me here. Uh, he deals well with BHM and everything on the team, really. My switch in here is definitely going to be right on, um, basically because I can soak a hit from this thing. Um, there we go, Poison Jab does not affect us at all, we see Life Orb. Um, is it whether or not, if he switches out, would, would he switch out too? I'm pretty sure we're going to see Hitman on top here. So, with that said, I'm going to bring BHM and set up a Trick Room. Um, because we can. BM is Psychium C2. Um, kind of wanted to uh, see what that happened. Let's see. I wonder what C Trick Room is doing. I have no idea. I swear if it boosts speed, and you just be, quite frankly, tremendous. Uh, that's right. He goes to Fake Out. That's actually quite right. As we just go for the Trick Room directly. Let's see. Drapion comes back, and that's correct. Um, yeah, I go directly for Shadow Ball here. Just get the damage off. Um, <laughs> that, I think that was the worst play, actually. Um, we do get him down, though. I, I kind of forgot that it's resisted. Energy Ball should KO. No, nope. nothing I do hurts him. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Um, so I have two turns of power. Let's see... I'm figuring Incinero would be kind of nice. Hitman Top can always come in. Uh, actually, Rhydon makes for a decent switching against everything here. Um, let's see. I'll go for a Swords Stance here, since I'm faster anyway. We're going to see Dynamic Punch. All oh, right. All right, take a gamble here then. Bullet Punch is not going to be enough. Rhydon, yes! Yes! Just... Choke on it! <laughs> Here comes Hitman Top. There is really nothing I can do towards Hitman Top anyway. I have a sack play though in this. I definitely have a sack play, sack, uh, sack play in this. Um, 
Because fake it won't matter. Sloking. Sloking is an option. Uh, just to get another trick room going. Since I'm regenerator, I can probably save myself a bit of a trouble. Let's see, so let's pull that off. Like, there is nothing he can do outside of Toxic, of course, to make my day a lot worse. So, now we go for future sites. Seismic sites. Alright, that works. Next turn, you're gonna die, boy. And I can bring Aromatis, probably threatening him out, actually. Yeah, there we go. There's a pyro. And that works quite right for us, as well I waste turn, most certainly. One thing that definitely should be stated here is that I have sack place, and Future Sight might very well take on this pyro. As it goes for blast, that's gonna KO, and then we're gonna see the mighty, mighty Future Sight not KO. Of course not, why not? Um, damn it, that would have been so nice, wouldn't it? I have another trick room turn though. Let's see, Aromatis could probably come in, kill the Pyro, and then kill the Hitmontop. I should be fine here. Um, right, he actually hard switches. Very, very surprising. This probably kills him. I lied. Because um, the thing is here, it doesn't matter what he tries to do. I could still go for Trick Room. I definitely say this, though. I am... I do fear... I really can't stress this enough. I do fear... Um, um, Drapion this against this team it actually did fairly well, even though my what do you call it? Uh, can't speak today for some reason, but if my Rhydon did check it, I mean we can always face um Warium C variant and that's going to be able to KO us. Uh not having Stealth Rock did damage my team, and as you guys see here, we, we while it is a comfortable win here, we do kind of fall behind. So we did well. I I'm glad how that performance worked out. Uh, I'm gonna do an adjustment here on BHM because BHM was totally walled by. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. Thunderbolt is a better option. All right. No, if I can spell it, that is Thunderbolt. I'm actually surprised BHM did not get um, Focus Blast. That would definitely have helped it quite a lot. Um, I wonder if Aromatis should get a diff same kind of treatment. Aromatis is quite a its move pool is not that impressive. Thunderbolt might actually be overall better. Uh, no, then I walled by him. Um, yeah, then I walled by Steelix. Steelix is a very, very tough mob for me to deal with. Um, I think we do like this. Slack off on you. I'm kind of figuring the extra damage won't matter if I can't pull that off and just get pulled, out, pulled myself up a little bit. So yeah, let's try this one more time. That was a good battle, though... It really only worked because I had the opportunity of pulling that off. And this is something else. I wonder what series of Pokemon these really are. We see two Dark Types, and that's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, a good lead here is still Aromatis. There are a lot of plethora of mods that can't care with first turn. So it brings in Kingler. It could have Shear Force, um, uh, Shear Force uh, Metal Claw. I would be surprised, but it's it's likely. We see Agility. Oh, that works. That's Talk about ruining your day. <laughs> Alright. Kingler is a really, really cool sweeper, though. Uh, definitely underrated. That 130 base attack, that just screams, you shut the hell up. Alright. That's clearly resisted. Leftovers. We see all of the jazz here. Um... It's whether or not I fear this Pokemon, I kind of believe I don't have to. It soaked a hit, most certainly, but that's about it. So we can probably go for a Moonblast here. Uh, his best series of plays, I would say, is probably trying to just stall it out. As uh, we activate Berserk, which is always good. Um, Alright. Um, he won't be able to take another one of those. I do believe Energy Ball is enough to KO. So it's whether or not he want to preserve it. If he does, then he's going to be in for quite a surprise. Well, you know, we can just stay in here, look at each other. Grandpa clearly is a Pokemon that would be suiting for this team, most certainly. Um, when I KO this Pokemon, I still have one turn of Trick Room, so that's going to be very interesting to see if I can actually capitalize on that. Uh, and of course, Leftors is helping us. If Drapion comes in, then I am in a tougher spot, though. Um, Ursaring is also a Pokemon that I need to be aware about, because it's whether or not it, it is a Quick Feed or a Guts variant. 
Right here you come. This is also a Pokemon I don't necessarily fear all too much. Energy Ball should do decent chunk on it. Uh, though I'm pretty sure Incineroar deal with it head on. It's unfortunate it has two Dark Types. I really want to spam that Psyche MC. Uh, I'll just go for Moonblast here. I predict Stealth Rocks or uh, Toxic Earth Power. He has Earth Power. I did not see that one coming. Um, I'll try to go for a sack play here. Oh, that's too bad. It's an offensive variant, so I'll give him that. That's actually kind of cool. As, uh, we can still just go for Trick Room here. I think his best play would be go to Cacturn. Cacturn Waltz Slow King. Uh, goes to Kingler, actually. I'm, I'm kind of statuizing the same thing here. Um, though Knockoff is an option. Knockoff is most certainly an option. Um, I'll definitely get the hit off first. Is whether or not... Yeah, I'll go for future sites. Um, knockoff will hurt, but I don't think it will kill. I'm lying to myself, aren't I? Alright, we still got BEM to set up Trick Room, so it's not the end of the world. I sure as hell felt like it. I can definitely frame him out though with this. Thunderbolt is an obvious play, let's go for it. Boom. Because BEM hurts his team really well outside of Cacturn, possibly Drapion. We don't see Drapion enough. I, I'm, I have to say that. We don't see Drapion enough. Drapion is a very, very cool overall Pokemon, so... Yeah, I guess I'm a bit happy actually seeing it. Oh, this is where I realize you guys are not seeing the whole screen. I'm sorry. I should definitely re-edit this. Hold on. We're doing a live editing at the moment. Uh, I'm really sorry. I thought I fixed everything. I'm clear I didn't. And I didn't watch the screen either. Alright, hold on. Schmack. Gotta give you this though. I'm kind of glad I'm editing this. Um... Oh, that, that won't work. Sorry. Good thing we have a timer on me in case off, right? Like I said, really sorry for this. Uh, didn't anticipate how badly it would look. Should definitely have checked that before. Alright. Well, a bit too small. Aspect ratio, keep it. Nope. Now you guys can see the whole team. Doesn't that look nice? Probably gonna re edit the colors a little bit too. Like I said, real sorry for this. Fix the colors, there we go. Let's see. Against you, I wanna go for Ride On. Good thing I didn't pursue Trap Me, that would have been really nice. We still got one turn of massive damage. And my play here is to. He's not going to stay in. He's going to bring back the Clay Duel. Right. So we go to Incineroar here. Oh, Cacturn. That works even better. Um, while we will be slower, we will still hurt something really, 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 really badly. We needed you out of the way. This is, this is great. This is exactly what I wanted. Though his best series of play would probably be to actually sack Clay Duel here and bring Draven again. Oh, it brings Rapion in! Oh, dear God, it's gonna hurt you. <sighs> we don't kill him, though. I'll go for you here. Let's see, Earthquake, that's not gonna KO. And we have one turn of damage left in us. So with that in mind, we're gonna bring Hiriyama, because I do believe Hiriyama is uh, hard to kill here. Who would know? A lot of editing would resolve the issue. Bit of a risky play from him, actually. Um, right, he brings Cradle. He brings Cradle. Um, here's the thing, though. Um, Earth Power is a massive hit on everything on my team. BM is a good amount of health. 
So I'll actually try not sack playing it, but rather uh, get my trick room going again. Uh, I think if I can pull that off, that I would be in a better spot than I am right now. Uh, Earth Power would be his series of play here, and I think that would, quite frankly, kind of work. Let's see, he goes to Ursaring directly. I'm not against that, because I'll definitely go for the Shattered Psyche here. Stay in. Do it. I know you want to. Yes! We don't fear him anymore. Uh, it was a risky play, you know. Clearly, you know, the, the massive mon that is the Cacturn could have come in after all. <sighs> there we go. I don't like this Pokemon one bit. Because of the sucker punches and whatnot. Um, though I think... I think Hiriyama just wins here if I sack this Pokemon. Um, I could sack Incineroar too, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Because we got to have two turns left. Uh, he goes for Sword Stance directly. So that's a bit of a fortunate. Because that means that he will win some momentum here. Uh, I still have one Trick Room in me. Or on me. Or whatever is on me. Really, I can't speak today. So we're going to get a Sucker Punch onto us, but we're going to KO him, uh, which is going to be important. Or if he sacks the... Um, even if he sacks the... Um, Clay Duel, that's also an option. Uh, actually, stop. Ice Punch should be enough on both of them. I don't want to lose any defenses here. Uh, it goes to Sucker Punch, that's a 50% hit. Nice. I think Claydool will KO us from here. I'm not going to try to avoid the situation or anything like that. As Behem can just come in, set up a trick room again, uh, open up room for both uh, Rhydon and him, and then just spam Shadow Ball basically. Let's see, Earth Power does far too little, but he gets this Bediff drop. Uh, so really bank on the Shadow Ball to KO, and it does. Alright, that's GG. That was a cool game. Actually, that, that required a whole lot from me. <laughs> that really required a whole lot for me. I'm, I'm happy with that game. Uh, let's try one more game. Um, yeah, we've edited the team a little bit. Um, one thing that stands out that I'm definitely going to edit right now. This guy takes a bit too much damage on the, when he comes in. So, we're gonna go for the Incinero, right? Um, and then on... You, we're gonna go for Life Orb. Uh, I definitely believe that would be overall more interesting. And the only possible issue I here have here is that I don't damage anything as much as I want to. So might, I might be have before to consider better fire or psychic types in the long run. I like Behem though. I think it's a very nice overall Pokemon, um, but it seems to be lacking the punch. Actually, I can't do that. I need my Psychic MC. If anything hurts, that's that's the hurt that's the hurting power. Sorry about that, but left to resist the option. I, I don't like not life or sorry. <sighs> I like Incineroar, but I think it's having a rough time in this ladder. Uh, it definitely does better in PU, which is unfortunate. Because the typing is quite right. Right? This is this looks like a rain team. I do not deal with this team particularly well, but yet again, I will say that I think Aromatis is overall my best Pokemon due to Energy Ball doing a hefty amount of damage towards the most of the team, barring the Beedrill, which I don't think is a threat. And I've said stuff like that before, but he leads off with it, making it kind of kind of tough for me of actually making a statue here. Now, it's whether or not it actually is a lead. That's a possibility. And with spikes and toxic spikes. That's actually a really big... Yeah, there we go. So this is a Sash set for sure. Um, we're going to go for a knockoff here. He could have poisoned Jab possibly. Um, and since we don't have a spinner, anything he throws at me is going to stay. Kind of the reason I wanted Garborder on this team over something else. But Hiriyama is immune to the toxic spikes. So that's going to be incredibly important. Uh, I do believe knockoff does a hefty chunk of damage on everything on his team. But at the same time, I do believe Poison Jab will do roughly 40 to 50% on me. Um, 35s, right? That's that's better. So he's going to sack play this Pokemon for sure. Um, 
and I really don't have any other option. Oh, he actually switches out to, okay, to Vaporeon. <sighs> Whack! <laughs> Out! Okay, okay, refocus. Uh, I'm gonna bring in Slow King, hoping for Flare Blitz. He goes for Wild Charge, that's more power to him. As he goes for Super Power, so that's the wrong power. As uh, I'll go for a safe Trick Room here. There we go, Lord Lantis is gonna come in. Lord is gonna be annoying. Gonna bring in Cinero. Uh, my best player here is actually go for U-turn. Uh, so he's gonna go for Jat, of course he is. That's the right play. It doesn't get grass nut, right? That would have been really good if his Cinder did that. The question is whether or not he wants to take that risk. We have three turns left. And I'm defensively checked. That's that's always pleasant. Ooh, we do a good chunk though. Um I think Slow King is my best option here. Tectonic Rage. Ah, cool. I'm going to go for Future Sight. I find it a bit surprising that it brings this Pokemon in. The Leaf Storm is his play here. I go for Skull, just get some damage off really. Uh, there's Leaf Storm, that's quite alright. Here comes the Future Sight, I think. Oh, it's next turn. Um, I think BM can take one of these. It could not. Dear God. Oh no. <laughs> okay. That's GG, I think. Getting scrapped by Lulantis. How about that? <laughs> Alright, there's no reason trying to keep going. Um, let's try another game. Ah, it sucks. I really thought I had him. I really thought I had him there, but nope. Oh, this looks cool. This is just enforcing the point that I really need... I really need some kind of spinner. Hmm. I think Slowking is overall a better player. As uh, Little do he, does he know that I am Trick Room Team. Or he should, he should get that concept by the matchup alone. Uh, let's see. Mr. Toxic, that's alright. You better off get your hazards, you must feel that already. Oh, Figgy. Nice. It's gonna go for another skull. Basically, I want him whittled down. And there we go. And now is the time what he going to realize. Actually, I'm still faster, so I should just KO him. I do not want to, you know, enforce this situation whatsoever. As Rodon comes in, we're not assault vessel. At least I should do a decent chunk. Pretty sure he Volt switches here though. Yeah. That would be like the ideal play. Like I'm <laughs> I'm not taunting him, it just it felt too obvious. So he's switching here is like Zilgo. Um that's alright. I can start spamming flare blitzes, I think. He could go for bug bus here and that should do a decent chunk of damage. As he goes back to Rotom. Um, I don't know why, but this is this is a hard switching for him as he had needs to get out. I have three turns of absolute damage, and survey says he's gonna do he's gonna definitely bring the Delphox Ahsoka hit here, right? Oh, stayed in. 
Who's the overpredictor now, huh? <laughs> All right. Um, okay. <laughs> Jokes on me, really. Uh, I'm gonna go for slow this this time. I'm just gonna bring it down to the sash. Uh, get the burn, though. Come on, we need that. And you can't you turn out. La, la, la. <laughs> Oh, I needed that. Um, the thing is here, I think, um, since I have a trick group on my favor, he could definitely switch out to his Delphox. The Delphox would be the ideal play here. Um, but I'm still going to go for Moonblast no matter what. And then get up to trick room again. As we see, Rodon comes in. So he's going to sack play this Pokemon. That's alright, actually. Uh, he has no Pokemon that can one it KO me straight on at it. So that's going to be my perk for this matchup alone. But uh, I think we have enough pressure here. Um, the thing we're going to do now is go for Trick Room. It doesn't matter what he does. Uh, he could go for the massive amount of damage. It's much possible. I mean, he could have Power Herb, something, or Infernal into Overdrive. Uh, he has Fire Blast, so that's actually kind of better. As uh, we don't have a way to hit him super effectively. That's always nice. Uh, so from this point, I do believe we Sack Play, right? There we go. And Rhydon comes in and say, what you want, what you want, what you want, what you, what you, what you want. Actually, I think Hiriyama is a better overall player. I believe, believe Knockoff just straight on kills him and he's going to switch out to Axelgor anyway. So with that in mind, Knockoff is my best play. Uh, he's going to sack Axelgor and have a two turns of killing something. Um, oh, he just that. Okay. All right. That's quite right by me, actually. As we see Hitmali... Um, gonna go for close combat here um, yeah there we go um, I'm not gonna fall for that I'm I really am not um, We'll see if we can switch up moves. He realized that I still can still have a trick room. BM has the same option, and uh, Slokin is the easier one to sack due to uh, BM being in better health to pull off another trick room. But I'm not gonna let him come in. That's basically what it boils down to. Uh, because I will not be swept by shell, this Shell Smash variant. There is no way in hell I will actually allow that. As it goes for a U-turn, that failed to KO. Oh, that's tough. I was close enough. I whether or not a Bug Bus would have been the better option there. But, you know, it's the game we play. As uh, ooh, we bring him down pretty darn far. I think we win here. That's a wrap. Whether or not he forfeits or not. Yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, that actually worked quite nicely. Um, but as you guys saw there, the series of play that had to be made, he really made the best out of a tough situation. Going for the sweep with Minio, it's whether or not what a special or offensive Minio, if he even could hurt Rhydon. But quite frankly, my series of play that needed to get out of there, it, it was basically, I was forced to play another game to be able to pull that off. And I think it worked out kind of nicely. Uh, so that's good. Uh, with that said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you liked that middle editing. And the Trick Room in NU is very viable. As you guys saw, Incineroar, Hiriyama, Rhydon puts in the work. Aromatiz is one of the best series in the, in the whole tier. So goes for Slow King. It is whether or not BHM fits the bar, but quite frankly, I don't care. <laughs> so, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video. Till then, take care.